Hi, I'm Brandon Apple. I am the Senior Project Manager with Mold Inspection Sciences. Today we're going over part one of the Lab Report Interpretation Series. Over the next several videos, we will be taking an in-depth look at our lab reports and how to interpret the data. Today I wanted to start things off with discussing why we exclusively use EM Lab P and K for our microbial sample analysis. Why do we use EM Lab P and K? EM Lab is the leading commercial indoor air quality testing laboratory in North America. We have personally been working with EM Lab for over 10 years. EM Lab consists of professional technicians and are certified through the AIHA, which is the American Industrial Hygienists Association. In addition to the people performing the analysis, they have key people that sit on the board who are very well respected within the industry, including Harriet Burge and Dave Gallup. EM Lab is very experienced. They have over 30 years experience in fungi and bioaerosol analysis, and as a result, they have helped shape the IAQ industry. They have multiple locations throughout the country including three main labs in California, Arizona, and New Jersey, and 11 micro labs in California, Washington, Colorado, Texas, Nevada, Illinois, Virginia, and Florida. Another one of the key reasons we use EM Lab is because they created the mold report and the mold score. This is a proprietary reporting system for microbial sample data interpretation. And this means no other labs have this. The mold score is developed by aerobiological experts. Then it was tested against the opinions of experts within the aerobiological industry. It has been reevaluated and then updated algorithms were applied. It was developed using many projects with indoor and outdoor spore counts. The projects were done across the United States and were distributed throughout the year. The mold score accounts for the current indoor versus outdoor spore ratios, specific to the type and spore distribution. Another reason we use the mold report is because it is very user friendly. A typical lab report is presented in a tabular format and can be very difficult for the average person to understand. Lots of the data interpretation is done for the client, meaning added value from the report. And because a lot of these factors, it is not the least expensive report available. That translates to you knowing that the money you end up spending for, for samples is money well spent. All these points are important because interpretation of air samples can be very difficult because there is no normal for mold spores within a home. No accepted standards have been or can be established because Mold is naturally occurring and ubiquitous, meaning it is everywhere. Outdoor spore concentrations can vary drastically due to weather, temperature, and season. And indoor spore concentrations can vary drastically as a result of normal activities such as vacuuming, dusting, or emptying a trash can. So you may now be asking yourself, why are all these things important to me? My answer to that would be, First off, knowing that the mold inspection company you may choose to assist you in performing a mold investigation is using a well-respected and proven lab to perform the analysis. And the lab report that will be provided to you in the end will be of top quality and with a little assistance, easy to interpret. That wraps up part one of the lab report interpretation series. Please stay tuned next time for our next edition which will be an overview of the mold report itself and how to navigate it. In the meantime, please check us out on the web at www.moldsci.com. You can also get additional information about EM Lab PNK at www.emlab.com and additional information about the mold report at www.moldreport.com.